Hello and welcome to Key Movers on Tuesday, June the 28th, after yet another risk on Monday. But will the market follow the same pattern with risk off Tuesday? Three markets remain key in our opinion. The first is the euro. It's more than a platitude, but the euro is the type of market that once it stops going up, it will go down hard. Ian Park will show this morning if we've seen the top or how high he thinks it can go first. And Don Haynes will project how low we see it on the dailies later. I will tackle the thorny issue of whether cable will rally before it says goodbye to the 160s. But the answer lies with the euro sterling, and if it can hold below 89.75. The second key market is the Dow, whose 118.50 to 122 consolidation supported our view of more choppy trading in the markets this week. But as this fades over 120.100, watch out and watch out yen crosses, whose analogy with May 2010 looms large. A key issue for me, very long of Euro Swiss, is what dent this will make, having rallied strongly following our rebuy signal below 118.65. I will show why I'm willing to hold my long despite setbacks while it's below 120. Both these crosses suggest dollar yen and dollar Swiss remain at critical junctures and between key levels, which Don Haynes will highlight on his daily analysis later today. The third market is the commodity market. Oil and gold are today's jokers in the pack. Both are following powerful analogies, and despite the bearish medium-term implications highlighted in the anti-Grantham anthem on the weekend, we. Both have scope to rally today, following oil's June the eighth lead. What effect this will have on possibly the most interesting market of all, the Aussie, followed closely by Dollar Canada. In our opinion, both have already jumped over the cliff. Dollar Canada following the 1991 analogy perfectly, and last night I showed on Aussie how long its parachute can stop it falling hard. Later today, in the daily video, I will show where I expect it to land. Good luck, and of course, have a great day.